Welcome to SolidWorks Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will continue with surface modeling and we will know about next command in surface that is knit surface. And if I take the cursor on this, it will shows combines two or more adjacent non-intersecting surface together. So it can combine two or more surface that are adjacent to each other. It means they are touching to each other. Also, they can be non-intersecting to each other. But they should not intersect to each other, okay? So, we will draw a surface. I take a shoot surface. Suppose I take this top plane and I draw a rectangle, corner rectangle. And okay, exit sketch. Give it some height. Okay, keep pick this arrow and give it the height. So, we have created one surface. I want to change its appearance so that we have better view. Select the darker color and OK. And then we need one more surface for this because this is a complete one surface. I select planar surface. And we have to select the boundary. So suppose I select this bottom boundary. This is first boundary, this is second, third and fourth and click OK. So we have created these two surfaces. So if I select this surface, we see this is a different surface and this one is secondly different surface. Okay. So to combine these two surfaces, we need to use the command that is net surface. So this net surface, we have two options for surface selection. So we have to select this surface and the second surface is the bottom face. Then there are some options. Next option is seed surface. If you want to create any surface, any seed surface, you can select this. Or we can also make it blank. Then we have option for merge entities. We will know about this and then gap control. So gap control basically is the troll length. Because we see on this corner, there is a gap. It means this gap should, could be on value, suppose 0 0.0025. So, we have to keep in mind this gap control. And I click OK. Now, these two surfaces are now a single surface or a single entity. That is the first thing in the surface net. Next thing we will talk about is the tolerance in this surface. So, to use that tolerance feature, first we will take surface. Okay, sketch. Go to this sketch and select this bottom face. Rotate it to a normal view. From there, I take line command. From this end point, draw some line, line, line like this. And make this a complete loop. Okay. Then, take smart dimension. We know that tall length was given in 0.01. So I take this value 0 0.01 and OK. Then I click OK and exit sketch. So we had created this surface net. I can play this net and circular this. Temporarily delete. Now once again go to surfaces and select knit surface. So we have to select surfaces to knit. Okay, before knitting the surface, we need to do one more thing. Because this is a sim complete single surface, we will have to select trim surface. So, the trimming tool, I take this sketch. So, go to this model tree and select this sketch. And the surface to keep. I want to keep these two surfaces, this second, first surface and this second surface. And click OK. So, we have divided two surfaces. Now, I can select knit surface. On this knit surface, we have to select surfaces, select the first surface and the second surface. And now, because we have very little gap, so there is option showing of a gap that we, it has a gap of 0 0.01. So it is asking that we want to fill that gap. I check on this and click OK. So it will fill that gap. Still, there are currently two different surfaces. So to merge them or make a continuous 
surface of that. Once again go to the surface net and edit feature. And here we have one more option that is merge entities. Click on this merge entities and ok. Now we see it has created a 